Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, of course I got a lot of comments people asking me you know some of the differences between Windows 11 and Windows 10 that would be you know out of the interface that everybody have seen from the leak build. The leak build did not include a new settings app. The new build 22000.51 that's in the insiders does show a different settings app. And that, there's a lot of things that are going to change over time. Since a lot of people have been asking me to uh, kind of just compare it and talk about it and give my opinion of it, um, here's what the settings app is right now in Windows 10. And frankly, you know, it's categories. And if you want to go somewhere, you have to click one of the categories. And, and it shows you other categories on the left side with, of course, things you can do on the right side. And uh, same thing here, system. Uh, you know, you have the layout of interesting stuff to do here, but it's still it's still different. You know, it, the list of category goes with whatever setting you have chosen on the left side with some more information on the right side. A lot of people didn't like that. Uh, a lot of people hated the, the new settings app. Now, in Windows 11, this is the settings app. The categories are on the left side and whatever category is chosen, everything is already on the right side. And if you need more details of a specific category under that major, you know, um, category, you click on whatever and it has more settings. I kind of like this better. I kind of find that it's kind of, it's, it's more in your face. It's more everything or a big chunk of what you need is already there in front of you rather than having categories where you're not sure if you're going to choose the right one to show more categories and settings of those categories on the right side. Um, I think they did a good job in making it maybe a little more interesting to go around and go through. And what's nice is that at the top, the header here, um, so in Windows 10, the header, some that have the header, I don't have it here, but some of you do, you have always the same information, whatever you choose down here. In Windows 11, that header goes with the category you've chosen. So if you choose network and internet, the header becomes your network connection with, you know, how many gigabytes you've downloaded in the last month and stuff like that. So it's kind of interesting. They've really adapted this a little better. I kind of like it better. I kind of find that this is more productive and maybe make it easier to find stuff, although it's not, you know, 100% clear. But there's find a setting that's still here on the upper left that you can click and search for a specific setting within Windows. But I personally like this better uh, and think that they have improved here upon the settings app uh, compared to uh, the old settings that we have in Windows 10. So for those that wanted to see those key differences, uh, this is what it is as key differences. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.